will tell you how to work with redirects in power portal right many a times in web development trend we have to redirect peoples from one page to another page for example if someone hit view student page i want them to redirect to another page temporarily or sometimes permanently right so how we can do this redirects in power portal let us see my name is Sanjay Prakash and I am a Microsoft MVP and let us start now to configure redirect you can go to redirect here in the power portal management app here you have to define a name let's say I want to redirect to contact page so I can define a redirect to contact page this is the name of the uh, record next you have to choose for which portal you want to deploy this redirect next inbound URL inbound URL is the partial page name of the power portal to which users are navigating to so inbound that means which web page you want to redirect from this is the name so I want to redirect users from this page to another page right so my page name is view student you can see here if I so this is my view student if I browse website I can see so let us first configure uh, the uh, redirect so click on sync configuration if I have done any changes it will uh, navigate here okay now this is my view student page right in the power portal I want to redirect users from this view student to contact us page because for the time being temporarily I want users not to visit this view student page so how can I do that so in the redirect you have to give the inbound URL page name this is the inbound URL page name you can see here in the URL view student and I can go here and in the redirect next important thing is status code either you can choose temporary redirect or you can choose permanent redirect when you choose temporary redirect temporarily users will redirect to the to the target page that you select here but if you select permanently then every time the users will hit this url or navigate to this url they will redirect permanently permanently to the target url now let us choose temporary for now so here you have three options one is either you can choose redirect to an url by giving a uh, page name like let's say you want to navigate to contact us page then you can just uh, write contact us right let me click on contact us so contact us page has also a uh, pa partial page name right contact us so i can put this here like this otherwise i can directly choose a web page from this lookup i have a web page called as contact us right so i can choose contact us so this is the web page if you have created some site markers in your portal then also you can choose site markers I will show you how site markers can be used in redirects but now let us check this click on save so what I have done till now I have created a redirect record which will redirect all users from this page inbound URL to contact us page now this page will never be loaded for users temporarily and let us go and check how it works click on sync configuration in the power portal studio if you want to clear server case using url you can use service about url otherwise you can click on sync configuration which which will synchronize all the configurations we have done in portal management model driven app once once the sync configuration is done completed click on browse website now whenever someone click browse website now it will try to load view student can you see that view student is hit hitted here but immediately it should point to contact us page but it is not navigating right because it is not properly so let me choose web page redirect, it click on save save and close i'll go here click on sync configuration again sometimes because of uh, cookie issue it's uh, the issue is happening
you can also use any other page you want right in this record i have just chosen contact us now let me just check which this page okay so you have to use this portal right so this is the contact us and this is my portal if you have multiple uh, portals with same page name then you might be confused right so click on sync configuration and browse website now i am expecting whenever the view student page is heated or loaded it auto redirects to contact us page right this is the view student page let me browse now it should auto redirect to contact us page can you see that guys now it is loaded automatically contact us page that means a few student page will never be loaded because of the redirect right now for example i don't want to use web page rather i want to use a site marker so i can go here and use a site marker okay let me go to a uh, home page this is the home page let me create a new site marker i will give a name uh, what is the name let me go here and check let's say uh, let's say uh, page 1 sub page 1 right so this is another page sub page 1 right so i want to redirect to sub page 1 whenever someone load this view student page so i can create a site marker let's say sub page 1 and website for which i want to deploy is this one now you can choose which page right so i want to choose sub page 1 this one and save so through site mark site marker you can navigate to a target page using site marker right so the best thing using site marker is uh, if you reference if you refer to a site marker internally whatever page it is attached internally that will redirect for some reason let's say you want to change the web page for a site marker then the the system will automatically redirect to that page uh, that is associated with this site marker right so let us use this site marker in my redirect now i want to use site marker i have created a site marker called as sub page sub page so this is the site marker click on save now i will synchronize configuration and browse website browse website will delete the cache server cache and reload the page click on browse website now view student is loaded within a couple of seconds the target page will loaded can you see that automatically redirects to the site setting that we have configured so this is how redirect works in power portal if you want to temporarily redirect your users or customers or public uh, from one url to another url or web page or a site marker then you can do it i hope it help you in your project if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe and uh, see you next time Thank you.